Welcome to the news tonight on NDTV Hindu. I am Evelyn Matthew joining you today with the cricketing headlines, the political show stoppers and an engineering lesson from a rather different teacher. Isn't that right Krishna? Yes, Evelyn, it was a rather unique session for all the freshers of Anna University where President APJ Abdul, former President APJ Abdul Kalam visited the college uh, after a long period and he, rather, he had a rather unique and interactive session with all the students. I'm get, I'll get you all the details in just a bit. Right, we'll go across to Krishna for lots more on Professor uh, Abdul Kalam as he was uh, playing that role today and much, much more in the next 30 minutes. But before that, the headlines at 9 p.m. Indian selectors pick Chennai boy R. Ashwin for the England ODI tour, but with a leg spinner in Mishra's competition, can he make it to the playing 11? Mr. Dependable Dravid, who was in the wilderness for two years, is back in the ODI team. Injured UV and Bhaji have been rested. The city police step up security around spots frequented by Sri Lankan tourists after an attack on a group by men of a pro Ilam outfit. The state congress unit gets into full gear for the local body polls in October, beckons his party members to rise to the occasion. Tune in to Professor Abdul Kalam who revisited his alma mater and shared orientation tips with a fresh bash at the campus. After five months, my teacher, Professor Srinivasan, reviewed our project and declared my work is very gloomy and disappointing. Sport your letter in Tamil on the t-shirt you wear, a hot cake in the western market. It's the current trend in India as well. Jean's hero Prashant switches to a rewind mode. He brings the Mamatian of Ayasti years with a fresh coat of paint. And little word masters of the city spell it out and jumble mumble their way out with alphabets and the English language. Let's also get you the rest of the day's top stories from across the nation and the world as well. NDTV's exclusive investigation into the shocking sale of college degrees for sale in Chandigarh. Choose your subject for a prize. For the first time in history, the US's credit rating is downgraded by rating agency S&P. Economic recovery could further worsen. The BJP refuses to respond to reports of information from the Gujarat riots probe being leaked to the accused. More trouble for the government from the CAG. The auditor says a defective contract with Airbus led to a 200 crore loss. After a successful surgery in the United States, Congress President Sonia Gandhi is out of the ICU and is recovering. The captain and the chief officer of the MB Ruck, a ship that sunk off the Mumbai coast, are arrested for negligence but then bailed. Our top story this Saturday night, the fabulous 15 to play for India against the Englishman in the forthcoming uh, tour of the nation and uh, even for that one day and 2020 series has been announced. A highlight is that the wall jammy Rahul Dravid has made a comeback to one day cricket after two years. That wasn't the only surprise though. Take a look. Call it taking a step back, but the fact remains the wall is back. A 38-year-old Rahul Dravid is back in the one-day fold after a string of consistent performances in Test cricket. One look at his ODI career and you would wonder how a man with over 10,000 runs in the 50-over format was dropped after a poor home series against Australia in 2007. Dravid was then recalled to bolster an inexperienced side for the Champions Trophy but was axed again following India's early exit. While Rahul Dravid indeed has been a great servant to Indian cricket for close to two decades now, this surprise selection begs the question, what of the younger generation like that of Manoj Tiwari, Saurabh Tiwari and Yusuf Patan? Well then again, that's not the only awkward selection. Harbhajan Singh and Yuvraj Singh have both been rested despite their recovery time ending well before the start of the ODI series. Yuvraj Singh, as you know, is injured. I mean, the doctor's report says it might take four weeks. Same thing, Harbhajan Singh, I think, is injured. They've all come. I think they're coming back and they're going to undergo the training in what they call NCA. So, with regard to all those people, we'll have to cross the bridge only when their fitness, they prove the fitness. Yuvraj Singh is our main player, but unfortunately, when you have a fracture in the finger, when you come back, you can't do anything about it. Quite rightly so. It would be hard to drop your man of the series from the World Cup. But the term rested could hard. well be a euphemism for Budgie. Speculation is rife that the Turbinator has been dropped, not rested, due to his poor form. In Chennai, Natasha Swami for NDTV. 
Well, good news for Chennai is that homeboy Ravichandran Ashwin has made it to the squad as the lone off spinner, but may face competition from leg spinner Amit Mishra to get into the playing 11. On one hand, homeboy Ashwin could be also a game changer considering his performance in the power plays and slog overs, a great asset for the team, as Gauthi Gambhir puts it. Meanwhile, Mishra is an attacking leg spinner and could also provide variations. English batsmen have traditionally been poor against leg spinners and legendary fast bowlers like Wasim Akram himself have endorsed the inclusion of Mishra, calling him an intelligent bowler. The team will be in fact captained by MS Dhoni and vice-captained by Virinder Sehbag. Moving on to some city news, the Chennai police have stepped up security measures at areas frequented by tourists following an attack on a group of Sri Lankans reported recently. Three activists belonging to a pro Elam outfit were arrested in connection with this incident. Security has been specifically strengthened at uh, the Mahabodhi Society where uh, Sri Lankan pilgrims are known to be staying. The Q branch of the Chennai police is also overseeing security arrangements. And the city's commissioner of police, J.K. Tripathi, spoke to us about the arrangements and uh, told us that everything was under control. We have taken action on the assault. We have uh, arrested the culprit, the note state as such, and otherwise also we have enhanced the security arrangements in the place. The, uh, the, 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 the attack and uh, on the receipt of complaints. We have taken action against the culprits and the culprits have been sent to jail. The adequate security arrangements have been made after this body and uh, we don't expect any problem there. Moving on, now the TNCC chief Tangabalu met the press today and spoke of preparations ahead of the local body polls. He urged all the district committee members in the state to catapult the party to its glorious position in the run-up to October as it would prove important for them. While the party chief chose to refrain from commenting on the alliance just yet, he did say that there were prayers conducted across the state for Ms. Sonia Gandhi's speedy recovery. Speaking on the Mullai Periyar issue, he promised to fight for the state's rights and keep up pressure on the Kerala government. We are one of the largest formations in the state and as president of the TNCC, I requested my fellow congressmen and women in the state to endeavor to see that the Congress party takes its position in the forthcoming Panchayat elections because Panchayat Raj system was brought by the Congress and our beloved leader Sri Rajiv Gandhi. And we value this election very greatly and we will continue to work for the development of the village movement and the Panchayat Raj system in the country for its development and sustainability. Now, if you've just joined the Chrome Pet campus of MIT in Chennai, you were probably among the lucky few to gain some words of wisdom from none other than Professor Kalam. More when we come back. <laughs>